Here's the double, here's the triple dipper to have me in slippers trying to strip in the, in the strip club. Ooh wee, from the east to the west, that smoke. Uh, the, a little bit of love. He sampled that shit, and that's when we had it. It's on YouTube. If you look mm -hmm. for it, it's me and Pun playing around with that beat going, I don't want to be a player no more. And it's just me and him. Oh, where? That is the essence. That is the essence of that song. I wrote, and then my brother told me to write him the the bridge, which I wrote up in the hot tub, popping bubbly. That's you? That. You wrote that? No, it's not me singing it. I wrote it for him. He no, that's it. what I'm saying. You wrote that? That you, yeah, you, so I wrote you, that. Did you get songwriting credits? No, of course not. It's my brother, and we did that shit on DP. That's my brother. You know, we didn't know about the business like that, but I know I can tell you that. And if my brother was here, he'd tell you I wrote it. He fucking put me to write it. I didn't get no Yo, that because, hook you know, was crazy. Whoever was supposed to be, whoever was supposed to be taking care of my business affairs, which was later on, you know, who that was. The guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, your manager and your Luga. record label. Exactly him. You know, the double dipper. Flipper, the double dipper. Okay, we're going to get that. We're going to go with that one. We, even though Flipper wasn't a freaking, uh, he was a dolphin, but we're going to switch him. Okay, yeah. He's a beluga. Okay, he was a beluga. But anyway, him. He's the one. That's supposed to have been doing it. Just like when I did Senorita, the song Senorita, I did the hook for Puff Daddy, the Mommy Van Aki. I wrote that. Unbeknownst to me, all these times, this nigga's telling me I'm whack at this. Oh, you, you only gave me a deal for Kiss the Pun. Now I so you didn't get songwriting credits for that Mommy Van Aki? I didn't get that fucking credit Bro. because the Beluga, Beluga used it for his own purposes and to get Puffy but the to double do the hook dipper on his Don Party Gina. Double dipper, triple dipper. This nigga's a triple dip up for real. Well, he's like, a no triple dip. Nah, he, yeah, he tripped. Yeah, yeah triple but he had you with no strip. No, he had you with no slippers and like a stripper. He was just paying you dollars. He's the double, he's the triple dipper to have me in slippers trying to strip in the, in the strip club. Yep. Yes, like he thought you was yep. a stripper. Because I'm being dead That's serious. It. it seemed like he was just throwing ones at everything he was giving them. From back then, and when I look at it in hindsight, I see this nigga was doing dirt ball shit like that. And I was still trying to be humble, trying to be loyal, because I was in that position where I got to show him that I'm nice, because Pun was one of the children, you know, the talent we had, so we could fit in where he had, because that's what he had to do to do it, right? Because he had the talent and all that. He wanted to show Joe how talented we was. So we, you know what I'm saying? Roll together. It's cool. And uh, the more bend over backwards and try to show him, do shit that. You know, even though I, I probably knew some situation where he probably double dip extra or triple dip, and I, I let it go, and I would let him know. You know, I, I know that, my nigga, but you know, I'm showing you I can pay dues. Like the real nigga. The more you did that, show that mm -hmm. nigga honor, respect, and love, the more I see that with me, he turned it around into more hate. You know, you showing your, 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 your quality as a, as a human being, as a man, as a, as a rapper, it was bad. It was more jealousy he got more jealousy he had yeah. when I look now. So, you know, that was what- That's uh, some crazy shit though. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I don't regret it. I don't regret it because it was what it is. Like I said, it was destiny. If I was, we were meant but to come learn. out this way through the through the snake pit, you know? We was, uh, I think everybody got pit. that though. I think everybody nah, got that same I don't think treatment. So. I don't think so. I think, yeah, b niggas being slick and then, but they're corrected, right? No problem. No Niggas don't go out their way to fucking block a fellow fucking dude because they know and they respect they got a family yeah. and, you know, that would make a bit of miscommunication, but you're not going to do that to a nigga that, you know, is from your cloth, is from your neighborhood. I mean, that even like that you. happened to even Little Wayne, bro. That even happened to Little Wayne. Yeah, but Wayne. nobody, no, no nigga went and crazy as fucking, as being a despic despicable after 20 something no, years. No, I see what you're saying. To, like, like to do one's family, to do that to me, to block me to this day, you know, to go out there way and knowing that he's the, like, we, we are seldom, we, 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 we are, we are minority, we Latino niggas, you know what I'm saying? We Latino. So he know he hold that key. He wants to be the only Latino to be known like what Pun is known for, like the illest. He wants to have that type of power. But why like, hasn't, he, you got a young Chris Rios. That is no, don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. You already know that. I know that. I told you that he's blackballing Chris. Nobody want to believe me? Wait till 10 more years. It's going to show you again. Yeah, because that's the only thing that's want to believe me. Okay, wait till it comes out. I already showed you proof. I showed you proof because I told you that Nori, back in the days when he was nine, Liza yeah. and Chris asked him to do a song. And Nori said no to him because Fat Joe told him. 
So here we go, 20 years later, same story. Can't do an interview with wow. Cuban because Fat Joe told him. So the same thing applies. He's blackballing Chris. I'm telling you that. He but literally Chris, blackballed his son. The prince. Right. Pun was the king. And he's now the prince. He's got to wow. get it too because, you know. I mean, what, what, what other reason would the prince and the queen, or, you know, it was lies at the time, whatever, how they want to, you know, narrate it. But why would the pun family have to go back down to a shelter to be going through poverty again? When their father, the king, took you know matter in his own hand, broke through that, changed their whole life just by the talent he had, and helped Joe along the way because he didn't receive royalties for the songs he fucking gave him as a ghostwriter. He never gave him credit, so he helped them and him became and and me. So Pun helped every fucking body become, you know, this this on this level. And then when he dies, the, the most precious thing to Pun, if you know him, if you're a friend, was his kids and his and his, and his wife. And why do they got to go back now to the to the first floor again? According to Fat Joe, basement as a social status because you know this nigga want to take money. This nigga don't want to make a part of thing. He wants to become an enemy with her and split up the team on that level. For he could have the incentive to say she was wrong, but keep the money. That's why. Yeah. Once well, again, let me smoke screen. Let, smoke screen. Do the smoke screen. And she did some okay. foul shit. Whatever. He did some foul shit, and now because of that foul shit, he's forgetting that he's like this with the money, taking it. So did this ever I take like, place? Like did that, he that, ever that, go that, down that. to the studio? Did he ever go to the studio and hear him out? He said he went to the studio. They were both in the same studio. Ooh. And he went over to talk to uh, Fat Joe and Chris. Ooh. That Fat Joe and Chris were like in the same studio. And he went to talk to do, uh, Chris and Chris didn't Probably want to did. hear it. Probably did. I don't know. I don't know. I know that Chris got more integrity than that. And uh, I know he was brought... brought and he feels a certain way. And, you know, I don't have to be next to him every day to know that, you know, little nephew has integrity, honor. And, you know, he knows the story. That's what I'm saying. He knows. Yeah. It's not nobody fed him anything. He, he knows he's old enough to know. He's been knew the story. He's seen it. And when he was six years old, he went through it. I seen it. And that's not my nephew regardless. Those are my nieces. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah. my sister. Even if sometimes we don't agree and they feel a certain way about me. I don't give a fuck. That's who they are. I know their story. And I know the truth of it. Exactly what I'm telling you. Uh, I know my, my brother would be doing now. It's me and him would probably be fucking, just fucking everybody up that's in the, in the terror squad right now. We've been fucked everybody yeah. up because, you know what I'm saying, there would have been two niggas and we'd have a little power to punt. Because me, you know, they, they knocked me down to the floor, so I don't got that much power within the, the, the you know, yeah. the, the, the system anymore. But uh, that's another story. But at the end of the day, they're making it seem like Pun would be proud of them. 